And the, the streets are cheering <laughs> for their new king. Long live! Uh, what's his name again? But their new royal highness <laughs> wants a quiet night in <laughs> with Uncle Ben! Tally-ho! Your quiz-setting friend! And do know it's time again For a quiet night in Welcomey, welcomey, 62 times welcomey to this special Quiet Nights in Horror Nation special, yes indeed. Now, if you haven't done Quiet Nights in before, we are a ludicrous interactive quiz with many different rounds and about three different brain cells. And don't panic if you're not into the monarchy, just think of this as a British history special instead. But if you are into the monarchy, then buff up your bugles, creosote your crowns, and wrap union flag bunting round your nearest Methodist minister. And let's get on with it. Tis dingbats! Ding bats, let's ask ding bats, ding bats, let's ask ding bats, ding bats, let's ask ding bats, ding. Say what you see, see what you say, sail your armada over to Spain, etc. Now remember, everything in this quiz today is all about the British royal family, past or present. So with that in mind, here come a couple of songs. But what songs are they? What song be thong? Remember, you can pause the video at any point to give yourselves longer to work out the answers. Now, for this one, this is a song supposedly written by Henry VIII himself. Yes, it is, of course, Green Sleeves. There you see, literally as simple as that, there's some green sleeves. It's green sleeves. Do you get the idea, jolly goo? Let's try another one. What song be the hong? What's going on there with socks? What do you do to socks when you mend them? Yes, it's of course the great ABBA song, Dancing Queen. If you think that's bad, just you wait for it. All right, now we're going to have some people, some royal personages, if you will. And if you won't, I quite understand. But what person be the person? Who is it? Who is it? What have we got there at the beginning? That's Anne Robinson, so just Anne. And then what's Ned Flanders doing there? He is bowling. Yes, it's Anne bowling. Anne bowling. Anne bowling. I told you they got worse. All right, then. What about this one? What person be the person? Now, now, you're all going to absolutely hate me for this one. But it's my favourite one. I think it's marvellous, but you'll absolutely hate it. Um, so I shall give you some help here. So um, it's a female chicken for a start, not just a chicken, that's very important. And then what's that person doing, yes? What are, they, what are they actually doing? And therefore, what would you call that person? If they're doing that thing, then they are a... Mm. Okay, a little bit more help if you haven't got it yet. Uh, so we've got female chicken, we've got hen, yes? And we've got the person is reading, therefore they are a reader. That's right, and there's five of them and it's pointing at the fin. So it is, of course, <laughs> please forgive me. Pen Reader Fifth. And you can hate me all you like. I absolutely love it. So shut your faces. Right, and we shall finish off with some historical events. Yes, we shall. But what event? Event! Look at it. This is an easy one in my opinion. Good old 1066. Yes, it's Bat Owl Off. Hastings. Simple as that, my lady. And finally, we shall finish with this historical event. But what event be event intent? Now, if you haven't got this one, the middle picture there that I have selfie of myself, of course, as if um, you're looking at the 8th Ab there, aren't you? The 8th Ab. Yes, it is, of course, 
Edward the Eighth abdicates. Edward the Eighth abdicates. Look at that, Mimoomin. If you have any complaints at any point, please keep them to yourselves. Well, that's it from Dingbats, isn't it, everybody? Let's wave goodbye to Dingbats and say, Tally ho, Dingbats! Tally ho, Dingbats! Right, what have we got next, everyone? Oh, I think we'd have. Oh, oh, no, wait, right. Everybody, please stand for the national anthem. It will be my honour to sing this song on such an important occasion as this. Oh, but uh, hang on, I can't, I can't read the words properly. Well, why can't I see them? Oh, no! My glasses have left my face, moved to America, and making money they don't need by making Netflix shows and releasing autobiographies. That's right. I've got no glasses on. Right, let's try this again, everyone. All standing for the national anthem. And I haven't got my glasses on. Oh dear, what can possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Old salty Graham's chin, long line of wobbly things. Me, no, no. Long line of wobbly things. I would like a long line of wobbly things. Go fetch me one. Right, sorry, hang on a minute, let's start again. Long line of wobbly things. Old salty Tim. <laughs> Send him an omnibus. Hairy, sad, ox. Purpose, lovely red oven glove, old salty chim. Oh, love, our gods arrived. <laughs> oh, love, our gods arrived. Oh, bleeding heck. Get spare room ready. Never have big enough towels. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, love, our gods arrived. Sand down your Argentines and milk the fox. Oh, fox. Cheese board of lunatics, fruit cake, Jones' greatest hits. There goes our wheat a bit. God save us all. There goes our wheat a bit. I like fruitcake Jones. Two citrus gits aboard our holy dinosaur. Long Mary's beard. Oh, Long Mary, marvelous. May he destroy Coles more Tangerine semaphore Sing with root the adore Oh, salty Ah, may you all sing with Rood Theodore. <laughs> and good old Long Mary. Poor old, old Salty Graham. Um, Fruitcake Jones as well, excellent. And uh, don't forget your tangerine semaphore, madam. Well, have a lovely coronation, everybody. And all hail, old Salty Chimp. Oh dear, I'm definitely going to be sent to the tower for that one, but never mind. Possible beheading coming my way, my lovely listeners and wonderful watchers. Oh well, I've had a good life. No, I haven't. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh my god, talking of beheading, what are all these, these floating severed heads coming towards me? It's a warning, isn't it? It's a warning from the palace. They are going to chop my head off. Oh no! Oh no, hang on. It's all weird smiles and strange winking things. Oh, no, it's fine. I'm overreacting. It's just Emoji Mayhem! Emoji Mayhem! Emoji Mayhem! 
All these funny faces, what can these symbols mean? Right, we're going to start off with four films made up of emojis. You've got to work out the films, all sort of royal themed or thereabouts, all right? So, what films? Be the limbs, good luckings! Remember, do pause the video at any point. Now, this first one I have to explain because it's terrible. Uh, the first uh, symbol there, it's not the animal, it's part of that animal, the part that they use to feed their young. Okay, if you haven't got it yet, pause it because the answers are coming up. But now, here they come. So the first one is, of course, the other bowling girl. The other bowling girl. I know, I know. Shut up. Next, we have, of course, the Princess Diaries. There we are, the Princess Diaries. And next we have Marie Antoinette. Yes, Marie Antoinette. And finally, we have the marvellous Monty Python film, The Holy Grey Owl. The Holy Grail. It's only a model. Right, next, my lovely listeners and wonderful watchers, we have five, yes, five royal places. That's places. But what places? Be daces. Good lucking. Now, I should explain with these ones, when you see the pig, it's not actually representing a pig, it's representing one of the foods you get from a pig, all right? Jolly ghoul. All right, if you don't want the answers yet, give it a pause, because here they come. We have, of course, Buckingham Palace. Sandringham, Windsor Car Sale, Hampton Court, and Kew Gardens. Kew Gardens. Look, it's too late now. I've been doing this quiz for years. If you get that angry about my terrible questions, then you shouldn't be watching. Mind you, hardly anyone does watch anymore. That's not the point. I hope you all did very, very well there. That's all from Emoji Mayhem. Say, wink, wink, smile, smile, horny devil thing, Emoji Mayhem. Wink, wink, smile, smile, horny devil thing, Emoji Mayhem. Right, dust off those binoculars, everybody, and tighten up those telescopes, because yes, it's time for the return of Look With Your Eyes. Look with your eyes. Can you see what you're supposed to? What is there hiding there? Look with your eyes. Who can tell what you're missing? Look closer if you dare. Look with your eyes. Yes, oh, it's nice to have a look with your eyes back. Now, in this, I'm going to show you a picture. It's a picture of a busy street scene, and hidden within this scene are 60, yes, that's 60 Queen songs. That's songs by the beloved band Queen. But how many can you spot, hmm? Now, there are no answers for this, okay? So just pause the video and spend as long as you like trying to work out how many Queen songs you can see. And as soon as you're thoroughly bored and want to kill yourself, then unpause the video and carry on with the rest of the quiz. It's it's as simple as that. So here we go. Look at it. Look at it. Right, that's enough of that. Don't stop me now, I hear you cry. But I'm afraid I'm under pressure and the show must go on. So that's all from Look With Your Eyes. Say, Galileo, 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 Galileo Figaro, Magnifico. Look With Your Eyes. 
Galileo, 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 Galileo Figaro Magnifico. Look with your eyes. Look with your eyes. Right, time for some music, I think. And oh no, I've just remembered, haven't I? Unfortunately, the only musician we have here at the moment is, uh, well, an absolute insult and terrible, terrible impression of and to one of the uh, greatest musical legends of all time. And I'm still really embarrassed about it. But he's all we've got, so never mind. Yes, I'm afraid it's time to welcome back Zombie Bowie. (laughs) Zombie Bowie, come back from the dead. I could be making albums, but I'm on Uncle Ben instead. Zombie Bowie, career down the drain. I should be number one, but all I want is to be great. I want it. Hello, Zombie Bowie. How are you? Well, brains. Yes. So uh, what do you think about the royal family then, Zombie Bowie? They could be heroes, apart from Andrew. Well, quite... How are you going to celebrate the coronation tonight? Let's dance. No, let's not. Shut your face. Oh. Okay, everyone, you have to work out what song Zombie Bowie is murdering here. You get five points if you can work it out without the music, and two points if you can work it out with the music. So let's get this ordeal over with, shall we? Get on with it, Zombie Bowie. Oh. Oh. Rain. No. Ah. Oh, the... The brains! The brains! The brains! The brains! The brains! The brains! The Oh, rain, rain, rain. oh god, I'm so so sorry. All right, let's try it with the music if you haven't got it from that. Which I wouldn't be surprised. Rain, oh, oh, the rain, the rains. Oh, 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 kill me now. I'll kill you and eat your brains. Shut your face. Right, yes, so it was, of course, and I used the words, of course, quite wrongly, land of hope and glory. Zombie Berry. Oh, I hope I never, ever see you again. Left, I don't think it's then space for some less of the sames. My goodness, what am I saying? What's happening to me? Have I eaten too much coronation fish? Have I suffered from hundreds and hundreds of years of strange inbreeding? (laughs) No, of course not. I'm speaking in opposites. Here they come. Opposites. Opposites, they're back to front, but what is it? Test your brains and test your wits, get back to front with some opposites. Okay, remember everybody, you have to say the opposite of what you see here, all right? The opposite. Now again, we're going to start off with some royal personages. But what person? The person. Good luckings. Tarzan Healus. Hmm, I think this person might have been married to Henry VIII. It is, of course, Jane Seymour. You see, Tarzan Jane, here less, Seymour. Yes, you get the hang of it. If not, I'll hang myself. Okay, next. What person be the person? This person was very nasty indeed, had Lady Jane Grey executed after only running for nine days and took over the throne, but then herself was executed by Elizabeth I. Who is it, non-violent Joseph? It is, of course, Bloody Mary! Now what person be this and look at it? All right, you need to think of soap operas here. Which soap opera is the Rover's return from? And what would be the opposite of that? The soap that often rivals it. 
viewing figures wise and the pub from that soap yes is of course queen victoria you're out of my pub and all that sort of thing okay next what person be this <laughs> Sean Connery played this person at the end of Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Yes, it is, of course, Richard the Lionheart. Of course, of course, of course. Shocking. I, I can't go shine the pottery. Bind, James Bond. Right, enough of that. Okay, we're going to finish off with two films. But what films? Be films. Royal films, of course. marvellous film this if you haven't seen it i recommend it much to you written by the genius alan bennett and starring the absolutely superb actor nigel hawthorne it is of course the madness of king george and finally finalement what film be the film Splendid film, this as well. Good old Colin Firth and the genius Geoffrey Rush. This is, of course, The King's Speech. Well, badly done, nobody, badly done. That's not all from the Sames, so say, Air yeah, hell air, yeah, the Sames. Air yeah, hell air, yeah, the Sames. You're out, my pub. Ah, superb! We finally reached the part of the show, my favourite part of the show, don't you know, where we hand it all over to you, you lovely listeners and wonderful watchers and extremely talented people. Yes, it's Uncle Benavision! Uncle Benavision! Benavision! Uncle Benavision! Look at you all here! Here's some lovely clips from after your brilliance from before. Oh, you are superb! Superb, superb, you are superb. Because we're not in lockdowns anymore, we're no longer calling it Cabin Fever Challenge. It's now Uncle Benavision. Yes, it is. Whether you like it or not. So I asked you this time to make something regally royal. Yes, I did. Anything you like to do with British royals, past or present. You all all come up with absolute brilliant stuff before. I thank you for it yet again. And I look forward to see what you've got this time. And who have we got first? Ah, oh, it's Al, the wonderful Al. What she got here? Absolutely superb. Thank you so much, Al. As usual, utterly, utterly brilliant. I think they should show that in schools. Much more fun way of learning about the horrible, horrible man. Marvellous, indeed, marvellous. Right, moving on. Whom, whom, whom have we next? I hear nobody ask. Wong hits Janet Saibu in. How marvellous. 
What have they got for us here? I think we're going a visiting. Bravo! A million times bravo! That is absolutely brilliant. How clever, how clever they are with their technology. <laughs> Queen Victoria. It's very good indeed. I can't say it enough, can I? But I will anyway. Enough, enough, enough. Brilliant! Thank you very much, Jen and Simon. But that's not it from them. Ooh, no, Mrs. No. They bring us something else. Why? What's this? What's this? Hello, hello, and welcome to the Royal Quiz. This is where you get to test your knowledge, your seemingly pointless trivial knowledge of the Windsors. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Princess Diana's wedding dress famously featured a rather long train. Was it A, 25 feet long, B, 25 meters long, or C, not important either way? The answer, of course, is C. It's not important either way. Who cares how long the train was? Okay, moving on. How long have Prince William and Prince Harry been feuding? A. Since Harry appeared on Oprah. B. Since Harry published his tell-all book. Or C. None of our fucking business. That's right, of course. It's none of our business. Why do we care so much? Okay. And Prince Philip reportedly made various racist remarks throughout his lifetime. Were they about A. Black foreigners B. Asian foreigners C. White foreigners or D. Pretty much all foreigners Yes, of course you knew it. It's pretty much everyone who wasn't him. And moving on. Which of the following is King Charles seemingly not afraid of? A. Toothpaste B. Cling film or C. Lavish displays of wealth during a cost of living crisis. <laughs> the answer is C. He famously does not put his own toothpaste on his toothbrush, a royal aide does it. And rumour has it that on one occasion he was utterly mortified by this seemingly crazy thing called cling film. He hadn't seen it before. Eating avocado is apparently A. Fine when Kate does it B. Evil when Meghan does it or C, unaffordable for most of the UK population in the year 2023. <laughs> That's right, you knew it, of course! Which of the following facts about Her Late Majesty is not true? A, she invented a new breed of dog. B, she celebrated two birthdays. Or C, she had no reason whatsoever to be ashamed of any of her offspring. Of course, that's not true. But she did invent a new breed of dog. She crossbred a corgi with a dachshund. I believe it was a doggy. And finally, where does Prince Andrew belong? A. In jail. B. In jail. Or C. In jail. Of course, he should rot in jail. And so the quiz endeth. Marvellous, marvellous. Now go forth, ye commoners, and try to forget everything that you learned here today. Ta-ra! Well, what can I say? Not only do they provide us with hilarious artwork, they then do an entire quiz for us. These crazy fools. Thank you so much, Jen and Simon. Utterly superb. And I got them all right, aren't I clever? And much like Prince Andrew, I didn't even sweat at any of those answers. So there we go. Very good indeed. From everybody, as usual, your contributions always astound and amaze me. Your talent is through, through roof. Through to roof it is. And it's very kind of you to always take the time to actually make things for my silly, silly show. When I know how incredibly busy you all are. We're not going to knock down anymore, are we? No. I don't know what's wrong with me. What I do, I'm not going to tell you. 
Right, that's all from Uncle Benavision. Let's change the channel immediately. <laughs> oh dear, you know, I, I can't help it. I just i got really bored of this now. We've done a lot of these quizzes, haven't we now? A lot of them. Three lockdowns worth we did, and then the summer special, now this one. I'm just I'm bored of it, to be honest. Utterly, utterly bored of it. I think we need to, I don't know, mix it up! <laughs> Mix it, mix it, mix it up now. 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 Mix. Yes, I know the new theme goes on forever, but I love it, so I don't care. Right, so this time I asked you to mix film, TV, plays, books, blah, 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 with anything royal, regal, really royal. Example: Gone with the Windsor. Who have we got first? It's Emma! Emma gives us <laughs> air spray, the crown jewel of the Nile. Abdication, abdication, abdication. Palace in Wonderland! You couldn't be! Father Crown. I watched Father Brown for the first time recently. It was actually quite good. Aren't I interesting? Where Regals Dare. And snakes. <laughs> snakes on the Plantagenet. That is excellent. Oh, you're in a, in, a, in a different league, you are, Emma. Ooh. Thank you very much, as always, Emma. But who's next, I ask you? Who? It's Noggy! Noggy, 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 do! Hello, Noggy. Noggy brings us Charlie and the Chocolate Monarchy. All quiet on the Windsor front. Singing in the rain. The Great Train Robbery, The Regal Housewives, and The, <laughs> the Only Way is Wessex. Now that, and you've outdone yourself there, Noggy. You have, Chuck. Ah, marvellous. Thank you, Noggy, and bye-bye, Noggy Doo. Who's next? Who is it? Ah, it is Aiden. Aiden, he waiting, he gladen he. He gives us Plantagenet 9 from Outer Space. Ghost Crown, Chew Doors Down. Now that is very good indeed. In case we haven't seen it any of you, there's a very good Scottish sitcom called Two Doors Down. Do you see? So Chew Doors Down. I take my arm off to you, sir. Very good indeed. Lady in Ethelred. <laughs> now I just need to explain that I am laughing a lot, but for some reason my microphone now on the new computer uh, doesn't pick up laughing and various other noises, and I don't know why. I don't know why, but I am laughing. I'm laughing. William of Orange is the new black. Aristocrat on a hot tin roof. Get Magna Carta. Ooh, I recognise that. That's a very good one. Very good. A classic, but excellent. Lady Jane Grey's Anatomy. Lionheart of Glass. March of the Nilwins. <laughs> From well that ends well. Now here, ladies and gentlemen, we hand up this story. We have utter excellence. From well, that ends well. And can you, can you feel, can you feel the love tonight? Oh dear. As always, you're a genius, sir. Uh, move Edinburgh closer to me at once. Right, who's next? Who is it? God, last, of course, last, but not least at all, as usual. It is Jen and Sai Moomin. They give us, oh butler, where art thou? Ah, ah, you see. Well, I was trying to think of ones you could come up with for that. I came up with, oh brother, air art thou? Or oh brother, where art crown? But yours is much better. Very good indeed. Let it Beatrice. <laughs> yeah, I'm a spy that kisses his hair. I like a duck on usually. I'm a spy that kisses his hair as well. Shut up. Shut up. Um, sorry. The man with the golden crown. Stuck in the Middleton with you. Very good. Windsor beneath my wings. Mary Queen of Scots Landing. Now, now who'd have thought in 2023 we'd be hearing about Knott's Landing? I've known that for years. That's a nice blast from the past. Majesty with Mussolini. Another one nice to hear from. One of my favourite ever films, Tea with Mussolini. Watch it at once. Brilliant. Cher. Cher is superb. And she's in everything. Sorry. Princess OS. <laughs> Prince you've been gone. <laughs> Very good. Die another day. Die, die, an die another day. Die another day. Do you see? That's very clever and legal. That's almost exactly like the actual original title. 
Day and Another Day. The Corgi. No, I quite like the Corgi. It's a dreadful film, really, but it's rather enjoyable. Um, and what a fascinating insight. Just not today. Um, Camilla La La Land. Kiss Me Abdicate. Oh, oh, clever, isn't it? Oh. And oh, Harry, where art thou? Oh, satirical, biting. Mm, I can't think of words. Oh, God, where, where did I go wrong? That's brilliant, Dead and Time Movement, and that's brilliant from everybody. Thank you so much. Amazing mix it ups as usual. You know, the best thing, the best thing about doing this quiz again, because I can't really stand it anymore, to be honest, but the best thing that actually does make me happy is your contributions in your Uncle Benevisions and your mix it up. So thank you so much for taking the time to do it all. I love it. I love you all. I love everything. I love biscuits more, but that's all right. Goodbye, mix it up madness. Let's say, um, up, mix it madness up. Mix, bitch. <laughs> no, let's not say that. Uh, bye. <laughs> Well, my lovely listeners and wonderful watchers, that's nearly it now for this special quiet coronation night in. But before we go, I think there might be just about time for a dreadful one-man show. Well, it's not really a dreadful one-man show, it's more a dreadful no-man show, because I don't actually appear in it, thank God. It's more of a song. Well, anyway, enjoy it at once, and let's learn a little something about the history of the monarchy. Dreadful one-man show, dreadful one-man show. It's a dreadful one-man show, an absolutely dreadful one-man show. The history of the monarchy much longer than it ought to be. Athelstan, Edmund the First, and Edred, all the Vikings heard. Edwy Egar, St. Edward, murdered because he was too good. Ethelred fought all his reign, but he was still not ready. Then came the Danes, Ormid and an Ironside, Hadoot the Great, Ordered weight at the seaside, Hadoot the Fool, and his bro half the canoe, Lays the taxes, so could I but turned up in the new. The last Anglo-Saxon kings were Edward the Confessor and Harold the First, who got an arrow in his eye. At the Battle of Hastings, Mormons were invading. William conquered us, he conquered us. Then came William the Second, Henry the First reckoned to have social reforms. Even Matilda had a war. Henry too then wedded, murdered Thomas Beckett, or ordered it at these troublesome priests. Then Richard the Lionheart came, who took the soul on the Crusades, John did things at Runny Mead, and Magna Carta 1215. Henry III, Edward I, then the second, and the third, Richard II, Henry IV, Henry V, Manu IV, Ashencore, Henry VI, Edward IV, House of House of House of York. Henry VI, Edward IV, thrown out, Edward V was not crowned, Richard III, of course. A horse, my kingdom, for a horse. Henry VII, then eight wives, he really did hate, see of be divorced, top head all. Edward VI, then Lady Jane, pray, only ruled for nine days, Bloody Mary killed her, don't say her name in a mirror. She found not a people, really rather evil, fill her husband's name, he was from Spain. Oh, yeah. The first of virgin queen, our martyrs and stability. James the first and Charles the first, Cromwell really was the worst. Charles the second had a fire, James to Mary to expire. Will the orange and Dutch chaplain and first queen of Britain? George the first next, then George two and three and four. William four next, and then of course Victoria. A sax Coburn loved her husband and her fool. Late second longest, she was often really quite amused. <laughs> George the fifth, who was now king, sir, changed his name to Windsor in the First World War. Germans went like that anymore. Then came Edward the eighth, he had to abdicate, cause love to him had all up mattered more. And George the sixth did bravely battle to give a speech quite natural on the radio. His stammer really didn't show. But then Elizabeth the second, the longest reigning Britain, began her regal life. From twenty-five to wait till she was ninety-six, we miss her so and hope that she will rest in peace. Now comes her own. Eldest son to reign, now comes her eldest son to reign. All hail our new King Charles the Third, all hail our new King Charles the Third. And that is the history of the monarchy. And thank you all very much. I can be dreadful, absolutely dreadful, dreadful one man show.
Well, that really is it now, my lovely listeners and wonderful watchers. Thank you so much for being back with us again. It's been lovely being back. Yes, it has. All hail our new king, King Charles III. And of course, we always remember our dear Queen Elizabeth II, who is still, and always will be, very much missed. Until next time, everybody. Bye, Balmoral, my Buckingham. Bye-bye.